Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys we're going to be doing a deck profile on my Dark Magician deck, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Uh, so this is updated with the Mega 10 stuff that came out last month in October. Uh, when the new stuff comes out, guys, uh, in January with the new Dark Magician and Blue Eye stuff, we will update the deck then. Uh, but for right now, this is what I've been playing with and testing out with. This deck is probably going to change a lot more drastically. Uh, to some degree when we get the rest of the new Dark Magician support coming out in January. So without further ado, uh, let us get to the deck profile, guys. So first off, we run our three Dark Magicians. Um, I love running the red artwork because of our canine, but these two right here I've had since I was a kid. My brother used to play with these two Dark Magicians. I played with Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, but I've played with these throughout my years actually now, so... They have a lot of history uh, when it comes to me and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but yes, three Dark Magicians I'll put in terms of attack and defense. We're going to be using them in this deck, guys, a lot for fusions, exceeds, uh, a lot of the times. And just as a general beat stick if you need to push in some damage. So he'll be used for multiple uh, different things. We, use, we do run the one Red Eyes. We are running Dragoons in this deck. There's no reason not to run Dragoons. It fits perfectly well in this Dark Magician deck. So we're running that. And then we're running one Dark Magician Girl. I'm debating if I actually want to run Dark Magician Girl in this deck. Um, she runs better with Dark Magician and a more Dark Magician Girl esque deck especially with salvation being a card now but in this version of the deck she can brick sometimes uh this is always going to usually be like because you're using it for dragoons but this is I'm, I'm debating about it um so it's up to you if you want to run it or not but uh, i'm running just a one of it uh next i'm running three magician's rod magician's, magician's rod is going to search out all your dark magician needs that you need for your deck you know Soul Salvation, your Circle, etc, etc. There's a lot of things you're going to be searching out with this in your Dark Magician deck. Uh, next up we run 3 Magician Soul. Um, yes, I own this card. If you have it, I would run it. Um, there are some people that, you know, they run Magician Souls and then they run other cards to help facilitate a more fusion-heavy Dark Magician deck. Um, so they run like... Uh, juggler clown and stuff like that so they can special summon out so they can get their verte up and then they can search out you know the red eyes fusion etc that's up to you if you want to run that build but me i like running a magician souls build with some other cards uh such as keeper of dragon's magic um i've been running this card this year for a while now because yes i focus this is a normal summon but this deck does not have a lot of normal summons really um it has this card, it has Magician's Rod, and then it has one other card that I'm running in the deck. That's all your normal summons for the most part. A lot of times you're going to be special summoning out. So it's up to you to decide how you want to run your Dark Magician deck. Everybody runs their Dark Magician deck a little bit differently. This is what I've been wanting, running for a while now, and it's been working for me. But uh, three Keeper of Dragon's Magic. I'm also running two Apprentice Illusion Magician. Great, great card. Uh, we're not really relying on navigation as much as we used to, but still, this card is amazing in this deck as a staple two of, in my opinion. Uh, we also are running, guys, one Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Um, I am still running the Spellbook Engine in the deck. I know a lot of people have cut it because they want to focus more on Dragoons. They want to focus more on Fusion. Going for Dragoons, summoning Dragoons, and be like, yeah, my Dark Magician deck's OP when it's just Dragoons, is the good card. So, ju just saying that out there, I had somebody tell me that, I'm like, no, that's that's not Dark Magician being a good deck, that's Dragoons being a good card. Saying that, uh, I still run it in the deck, but I do like the Spellbook Engine because it helps me give some draw power to the deck. The deck has a good balance of draw power and search power, which I really like in, my, in this deck. So you can get to your plays, you can get to your combos, you can get things off and running, you can set up your boards, etc. So, for that reason, um, I do like the Spellbook Engine in the deck, so I am running a mini Spellbook Engine. I'm also running one, the Magician of Dark Illusion. This card will help facilitate your level 7 Exceed plays, and is a good card on its own. Uh, we do have cards that we can go into, like Divine Arsenal AA Zeus, which I do own. So you can use this to help go into that once you use all the materials on your Exceed monster, like a Big Eye or something. Uh, next we run Three Soul Servant. I always knew this card was going to be good, and it took about a year for people to finally figure out how good this card is in a Dark Magician deck. 
but it works perfect really well with your dark magical circle um, if you guys don't know that already but these two go together like peanut butter and jelly they work in harmony with each other and they're perfect for each other the reasons we don't want cards like extravagance etc is because these cards really help together with a lot of your basic plays in addition to that we do have the spellbook engine so we do have some good draw power as well so Overall, uh, pretty good in that department. We do some, uh, run the Spellbook engine like I was just talking about. So we're running two Spellbook of Secrets and two Spellbook of Knowledge. Um, this is pretty basic stuff here, I feel like. Uh, some people do not like the Spellbook engine uh, in the deck as much as they used to. I understand. It can be Ash Blossom. It can be this, blah, 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 blah. Well, every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! can almost be Ash Blossom, it feels like, nowadays. And if we just ran cards just because of one hand trap um i think a lot of cards would be just you would find a lot of th flaws with that that theory i feel like but that's just me i mean you got nobleman across out if you feel like you want to run that and you want to fit the, into this deck you got call by the grave as a one of there's counters for it you could run gamma packages if you wish i saw somebody do that in their dark magician deck i was going okay but that's up to you to run i like the card i like these cards in the deck they work well for me it gives me draw and search power with my deck a lot like I was saying earlier, so it's pretty good. I'm running uh, a lot of one of for magicians, uh, dark magician esque cards, or magician cards. So we're running one of the new uh, magical uh, salvation. Excuse me, salvation. Yes, magical salvation. Uh, this works well with your dark magician girl. It helps give it a little bit of a play of bringing one back or the other. So it is nice, um, but like I said, I think this may eventually get just stay in as a one of i know some people are building decks strictly around this card as a field center as a field uh, spell card which i get but it, eternal souls is good but i i don't know like i i feel like the new support may be a little bit better than this one card here but only time will tell and like i've always said until i have the cards in hand and play test and do testing it could always change uh one dark magic attack get rid of back row decks that's been always a thing. One Dark Magical Inheritance helps you search things out. A majority of your deck is spells, so this is usually going to be live. One Illusion Magic, uh, this is going to help re uh, reuse your and abuse your Dark Magicians. Some people still like this card, some people do not. It's up to you to decide if you want to run it. It may get cut in the near future. One Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, Red Eyes Fusion works very well in this deck to help get to your Dragoons play. Uh, you'll notice that I have true Dragoons in the deck, so there's other ways you can make a second Dragoons. Uh, things like using Magical Fusion is a great example of doing this because Magical Fusion just can help you just go not just for Dragoons, but for other cards. We also won one Secrets of Dark Magic. Really good card. I really like this Fusion spell in the deck. Works out fairly well. I'm also wanting the one Eye of Tamias. It helps me go into a bunch of other Dark Magician fusions, which is nice. Yes, it is not technically searchable, and you can cut it for other cards like the Piercing of, Dar of the Darkness, which is another draw card for the deck, which is pretty nice and pretty good. It combos off well, but it does take some more setup compared to a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. And you always have a lot of draw power in your deck, so I felt this was kind of unnecessary, but you could run it in the deck if you wish. Uh, we're also running, lastly, guys, one monster reborn. Uh, we have a lot of things we'll be sending to grave. We can reborn them back for link summons and for exceed fodder. So works out pretty well in that department when it comes to the, spe the spells, guys. Like I said, a majority of your deck is going to be spell attribute. I mean, I'd say probably a good 25% of your deck is spells. So, yeah, it's going to work well. It's a spellcaster deck. It's worked well with a dark magician theme as well. So, next up we got two Eternal Souls. Some people like running this as a three of now because of the new card. I do not subscribe to that theory. I don't think it's the greatest thing, but I think it's still a good two of in the deck. And then I'm still running the One Magician's Navigation, which can help you a lot with certain plays and certain combos. It's still good to have in the deck. If you're trying to build more of a controlled Dark Magician deck, maybe you cut some of these things out that I have in the deck and replace them with Solemn Strikes, Solemn Judgments. I've seen people do that. I've seen people add more hand traps. It's up to you to decide. I like just going basic combo with my Dark Magician deck. Uh, nothing too fancy, nothing too pretty, uh, but it works out for me in the end. So on to the extra deck now, guys. Let's get into that. We run our one Field Center in the deck, uh, as you can see, Magician's Illusion. Uh, we run uh, the three tokens for Duelist Kingdom because I'm going to Duelist Kingdom for the holidays. 
And we're also running our three Yugi tokens as well. So we got Yugi Soul and we got Duelist Kingdom as well, the Field Center. So we're we're having a, a, a real Dark Magician deck here, right? So let's get into it. One Link Karibo, if things something gets destroyed, gets negated, something gets destroyed, you can go into Link Karibo with certain cards. Your Verte Anaconda um, really is going to help you out with a, a lot of your fusion packages, which is really nice. Your Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, really great card, very useful in this deck. And also one Axis Code Talker, you sometimes will go for Axis Code Talker. It is rare and far between, but I do run it in the deck. In addition to that, guys, we are going to be running uh, one Ebonon Illusion Magician, one number 11 Big Eye, one Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, and one Divine Arsenal AA Zeus. Uh, these are pretty much your rank 7 package in Divine AA Zeus. If you need to, you can go into it. It's really useful. Uh, onto your fusions, guys. We run uh, the Dark Magician of Dark Knight, the Amulet Dragon, the Dark Paladin, the Quintet Magician, uh, the Red Eyes Dragoon, the Double Red Eyes Dragoon, excuse me, and then the one, the Dark Magicians. So pretty much Quintet is really good because if you don't, if you instead of wanting having maybe a second Dragoon you want to go for, you can go for Quintet Magician. That is a thing. Uh, you also have a lot of your Dark Magician uh, targets here for just generic fusions as well as your Dark Magicians. So you have a lot of good fusions. Um, the deck works pretty well. You got a little bit of links you can use things with. You got a little bit of exceeds, a little bit of fusions. And, and you can see, like, you're probably looking and saying, wow, this deck is pretty expensive for the way you got it built. Yes, that is true, but the deck functions fairly well. And I like it overall. Like I said, you can go for a second Dragoons very easily. I know some people are running double Red Eyes Fusion. That is something you can do. But I'm going to be honest with you. I saw some people running three of and I'm like, I don't agree with that. Um... It's up to you how you want to build your Dark Magician deck. I'm going to be honest with you. No two people build their Dark Magician decks the same way. I have never seen that be the case. They never build them the same way. Everybody plays their Dark Magician deck, guys, just a little bit differently, which is perfectly fine. It's Dark Magician. It's just like Blue Eyes White Dragon. Everybody plays it a little bit differently. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this build of the deck. Like I said, I've been playing around with this for about a month or two now. And once we get the new support, I will update this again, and it'll probably have a lot more uh, you know, changes with the new support coming out. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling to all of you guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you.